Jocelyn Palmer Dammy is a storyteller, actress, and retired school librarian from Youngstown, Ohio. She has a Bachelor's of Science in Education, Speech, and Drama from Kent State University. She is the first African American to receive a master's degree in storytelling and reading from East Tennessee State University. She is the author of one picture book, Nana B and Me. Miss Dabney grew up in Alliance where she attended Franklin Elementary, Stanton Junior High, and Alliance High School. She is in she is a 1972 graduate. While in school, she was active in band, drama, future teachers of America, French Club, and speech team. Upon graduating from Kent State, she was hired to be the librarian at Stanton Middle School. She then moved to Youngstown and became the librarian at the Rayan School, then finished up her career at East High. She was named the Rayan Teacher of the Year. Miss Dabney performed with her husband, Robert, who accompanies her with his inspired singing and lively drumming. They have presented programs and workshops for schools, libraries, universities, and conferences across the country. She has performed at the International Storytelling Festival in Jonesboro, Tennessee, as well as the International Reading Association Conference in New Orleans, Louisiana. She and Robert are charter members of the Cleveland Association of Black Storytellers, CABS, and members of the National Association of Black Storytellers, NABS. There are 2020 inductees into the NABS Brother Blue Circle of Elders. They were nominated for the honor by NABS co-founder and renowned storyteller Mama Linda Gus. They are also consultants and performers for Tools for Life of Hamilton, Ontario. Mrs. and Mr. Dabney attend the Rising Star Baptist Church. She is the director of the Creative Arts Ministry and he is a deacon and praise leader. I am so honored to be receiving the 2021 Pathfinder Award in Education. You never know where life is going to take you. When I graduated from Alliance High School in 1972, yes, I was the last class out of the old high school, I could have never imagined something like this happening to me. Thank you so much. My fellow aviators, would you like to impact thousands of lives? Become an educator. Would you like to be the person that makes a difference? Become an educator. Would you like to become the gift that keeps on giving? You got it become an educator. No matter what the profession, computer tech, nurse practitioner, lawyer, they all have one thing in common, someone taught them. When I look back over my life, besides my mother, Donna Jean Palmer, that was the educators that made the impact on me. The principals, the teachers, my band directors, my speech coaches, they all poured into me to help shape me become the woman that I am today. My first grade teacher, Mrs. Alma Etheridge, she instilled in me a love of reading. My uncle, Kenneth Tony, and Mrs. Velma Lanier, they were African-American educators at Franklin Elementary School. They were my role models. My Sunday school teacher, Mrs. Lucille Clayton, she encouraged me to know God better. And we can't forget my band directors, Mr. Doro, Mr. O'Donnell, and the great John Weitzel. They nourished my creativity and gave me discipline. My senior English teacher, Ms. Hillman, she honed my writing skills. For you see, they really shaped my life in such a positive way. I was so fortunate to be able to combine my love of reading with my speech and drama skills to become a school librarian. My first job was at Stanton Middle School right there in Alliance. And then I moved here to Youngstown and became the librarian at B. Rand School and then East High School. I can't tell you what joy I would feel when I would see a student read a book for the first time that made them really catch on fire. And I shared their frustrations when they would research and um, first with the old car catalog and then on with computers. It was very frustrating, but I was with them every step of the way. Or when I coached my students on the speech team, it was so fulfilling. Some of my former students include my pastor, Kenneth M. Donaldson the current mayor of Youngstown, Ohio, 
Jamel Tito Brown, and Omarosa. Yes, the Omarosa. They all sat in my library. I can't tell you how happy I am whenever I see former students at the mall or at a restaurant, and they introduce me to their spouses and their children, and they say, this is Mrs. Dabney. She was my librarian. It makes me know that the Lord used me to impact them in a positive way. So I implore you, my fellow aviators, when you're thinking about what you're going to do once you graduate, why don't you consider becoming an impact person, a true influencer, a changer of lives, become an educator? Thank you. How did Alliance influence you as a person? Well, when I grew up in Alliance, it was back in the olden days, we used to say it was in a neighborhood. I lived on Pike Street and you really knew your neighbors. I mean, it was the type of neighborhood where we played games and we uh, we would play hide and seek at night. No one was afraid. Everyone knew each other. And the school was right across the street from Franklin Elementary School. I think that made a very positive impact on me. And my relatives, I had many aunts and uncles and cousins that, that were there for me. And um, it really helped me. What advice could you give the young people today that are attending Alliance High School? I would say pursue the thing that you love. I was fortunate to be able to find a job that I could utilize all of my gifts and skills. And if you do the thing that you love, don't worry about the money because you know what? The money will come. But do what you love and you have to go on to higher education. It doesn't have to be a four-year school. It could be one or two years, but